right, so here's the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready to fight? Ready. Four. All right, so here we are back at the O2 in London, England, and we certainly glorify the Canadians and the Brazilian fight fans, and rightfully so. But when we show up in London, it's a sellout within five minutes of the time. Regardless of who's fighting, the English fans show up. They love fights. They're very understanding. They show up every single time. They're knowledgeable. They're ready to cheer. But don't be crazy. They will boo you out of that building. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Too easy for the Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets the fight exactly where he needs it to be. In the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Early connection with the left from the champ. Beautiful high kick. Another big head kick land. Ursay gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, the opponent seemed to think he had shored up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good at practice. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, that Von flu choke is tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Getting them out here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Great job landing from the top position. Nurmagomedov getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Nurmagomedov's in half goal. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Ursa. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. That was a solid punch. Oh, back and forth we go. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for the... Oh, nice double up. Yes. All 
right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip, take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Well, Khabib Nurmagomedov might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight, but taking the in position for a submission attempt here. Oh, it's getting deep. Strong work here by Nurmagomedov. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two on the road. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling is still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transition. He can do it with his eyes closed. This Come is on. something he's been doing since he was a young man. Fast leg kick lands. Missed on the right hand. Khabib's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Also, looked like maybe the fighter had defended that properly, but Magomedov once again gets the takedown. Khabib has fantastic chain wrestling. It's not just one attack. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Also, how about that? Position over submission as he bails on the sub. I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Oh, that's gotta be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body shot there. What a beautiful takedown. Marco Medov gets another takedown. That's been there all night. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble. Two minutes now to go in round two.
Lions with the ground and pound. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Ursa gets back up again. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Well, champ, I don't see that one. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job of being on the submission. Ursay is in half guard now. Thirty seconds to go. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Ursay. Oh, look at that. High-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Posture's up here and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Nermago Medal. He's a lot of good movement. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the final horn as this one goes the distance. Looked like at times he might get him out of there with a submission. Nonetheless, he'll have to settle for a decision. He kept getting so close. He was so close on so many attempts that it's hard to believe that we are seeing the judges' scorecards. But in those attempts, I believe that he did enough to get this Ready decision. Fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and we have seen across the board in the UFC, submission defense has gotten so good, certainly that was on full display in the previous round. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of sliding right out of all of those submission attempts. Let's see if he continue to ward off those attempts as we go forward in the fight. Big takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Khabib's in half guard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, right into Mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nurmago Medov's back in full now. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Full guard now. Yes, full guard. Watch for the top fighter to either posture or look to pass right away. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, so a little wealth there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore 
that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Good knee there. Oh, another knee by Nermago Metal. Oh, big knee. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Under two minutes to go in the round. Now he's going full mount. Oh. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. That was a slick transition. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. the full mount. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. 